So in a previous video, I showed you how to create folders and upload your files to Canvas. But this isn't where I want to give my students access to the files in my course. Instead, I want to create a home page that has links to those files. Just a nicer looking list where students can more quickly access the files that I want them to access in my course. So I've hidden the files tool and I've got a different video that will show you how to reorder and hide links on the course menu. Um, but I'm going to create a home page that has links to those files instead. So I'm going to go to the pages tool and I'm going to add a new page. So click that add one or the blue add page button. And this is going to be home page. And here's where there's basically three kinds of files that I want to link to on this page. And I'm just going to um, mimic the same file structure that I have over in the files tool. So over on my content selector pane, if I select the files tab, then you'll see that those three folders that I created with the files in each of them. So you can expand them and see the files that have already been uploaded into Canvas. I don't need to upload them again because then I'll be creating duplicate files. But if it was a new file that I hadn't yet uploaded, certainly I'd have the option to do that. It'll even let me put one of those files uh, or choose one of those folders for where to uh, save the file, the new file that I'm uploading. So you do have that option. Um, but in this case, I've already got the ones that I need uploaded. It's just that I want to link them on this page. So I'm going to start by saying general course documents and I'm going to expand those files and over here I'll hit the schedule button, the syllabus button, or those links and as I do it'll actually create links to those files. So there I clicked on syllabus and sure enough it flashed yellow and created a hyperlink of syllabus. Same thing for schedule, it flashes yellow as it makes that hyperlink for schedule. Now I'm going to go to um, PowerPoints Right? and do the same thing over here, lecture week one. I'm going to hit enter between each of these and I there's no way to do these multiple oops but there you can see I clicked the wrong one. I'm going to highlight that, delete it and then I meant to click six, enter, seven, six, enter, seven, enter, eight, enter. So we're good there. And then the next thing is research assignment resources. The files I'm going to include here are that one, enter, data for assignment, so an Excel, a PDF, and a research paper dot doc, docx. Okay, so those are the links now to organize it a little bit nicer, present it and format it in a nicer way. I like having lists as bulleted lists. So we could highlight those and those are going to go into our general course documents header. Same thing for PowerPoints and these guys will get added to a bulleted list. And same thing for research type assignment resources. It makes this a lot more easy to read and saves us some space, some scrolling space on that screen. If I wanted to, I could still modify the text of these hyperlinks um, without ruining the uh, hyperlink, without messing up the, the hyperlink itself. So it might be that your files weren't named exactly like you want the hyperlink to be and that's okay. You can go in there and make those changes. Now we're going to hit save and publish and it's showing the page that I just created. That's good. Um, I haven't yet made this actually be the home page so even though it's called home page it's really just home page by name. It's not uh, functioning as one. So let me set this to be my front page first. That's the first step. It needs to be published. It, we need to say use as front page. And then we go home and then we say choose home page, pages front page and we hit save. Okay, so rewind the video if you need to see that again. I know there were a few steps there. But the last thing to do is to check out the student view which we can also do from home page. 
Okay, I'm on home. Notice I'm not seeing the files tool in my menu. Instead, I'm just seeing the list of files on the home page. And students have this little preview magnifying glass icon that expands the preview of the file. So they shouldn't have to download it in order to see it. They certainly can download it by clicking on the link and doing that. So that was a quick video on creating a page that has links to the files. This is a design option for those of you who are maybe only using um, delivering a handful of files to students. Um, and those files have been already organized in the Canvas Files tool. Another option would be to create modules with links to files, which is probably a better option if you've got more than just a handful of files to students. So be sure to check out the video on creating modules to give students access to files in Canvas. Thanks for watching.